I think the fact that the uh, the Middle East has been falling apart uh, for the past uh, for the past 12 or 13 years uh, with uh, different countries such as Iraq and Libya and Syria of course and Lebanon uh, basically falling apart uh, and and many countries uh, are now aware in the region if you take uh, you know uh, the states that are not failed states I mean I think Lebanon today and uh, and uh, Sudan uh, Libya qualify as failed states uh, or Yemen uh, and in those failed states, you've had the very long arm of Iran uh, uh, activating its uh, Shia militias in uh, in Syria, in uh, Lebanon, in Yemen. You've had uh, in the past the Islamic State, uh, and and functioning countries such as the United Arab Emirates, uh, such as Bahrain, uh, realized that the only the 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 greatest power of the region uh, is Israel. It is the only country. Uh, that can be uh, an ally against uh, Iran and against the uh, the, uh, the forces of destabilization uh, in the region. And then you have the Trump administration, of course, that uh, came with a different approach than uh, the Obama administration to Iran uh, and to strengthening this uh, axis of the Sunni states and Israel against Iran. Uh, and that came up with the deal of the century. And I think when Trump realized that this deal of the century was not going anywhere, uh, for many reasons, including uh, uh, including uh, the opposition of um, of many people in Israel, but not only in Israel. And since, as I said before, we have the electoral calendar also, uh, I think this was the right time for him to push for this uh, uh, with his uh, allies in the region and say, do it now, do it now. And as I said before, there's a price to be paid. Uh, he basically, uh, the, the way he brokered this deal was through the selling of the uh, F-35s, uh, which is very important to him. Uh, so I think you have the underlying cause, as I said before, which is Iran, obviously, but also the timing uh, of the uh, Arab Spring and those countries imploding and Israel emerging as a major power. Uh, and, and, and they realize, as, as I said, to quote again the uh, uh, foreign minister from the uh, United Arab Emirates, it, it is a national interest today for the UAE <coughs> to officialize their relation uh, with Israel to benefit from this relation.